Wadi Cup and welcome to Tiger Today. Let's talk taxis because here we have the common old garden taxi we see every single day. They're about to be dragged kicking and screaming into the 21st century with a new app called Taxi OK. Now it's not just about being an app, they're going to be teaching drivers about politeness. They're going to be teaching them not to refuse fares. They're going to be teaching them to keep their taxis clean. Let's hope it works. It's being rolled out in Bangkok from January the 25th, then it's going to be rolled out in other provinces as well. Over here we have a drone. Now what do you know about drones? These drones now have to be registered. Uh, from October the 2nd last year people were asked to go and register their drone otherwise they're going to be fined 200,000 baht. Now 7,000 of these have now been registered with police. There's actually a lot more that have been registered. The 7,000 are only the ones that have been registered with the NBTC officers not police stations around the country. So it looks like a lot of people have got their drones registered. All right, I'll just put this down. You might remember that uh, 178 rye of land at Layan Beach up in uh, Bangtao. Well, they declared that as public land last year, a uh, hand down from the Supreme Court. All those restaurants now have to get off the beach. Tony's restaurant is saying, no, well, I think we're going to stay here. We've got a land title. This is our land and we're staying here. Yesterday, the land office came down and started staking out the land. And uh, Tony said, no, get off my land. So that story's not over yet. We imagine there's going to be some evictions, perhaps even forced evictions, coming up very soon. All right, to today's other main news stories. More arrests are anticipated over the torching of a Bangkok-bound bus in southern Yala province last month, thanks to confessions by suspects already in custody. Twenty or so suspects have already been questioned over the incident. Armed militants commandeered the bus on December the 17th, ordered all 17 passengers and the driver off, and set the bus on fire. No one was harmed. The government has not yet been told to prepare for the coronation ceremony of His Majesty King Maha Vashira Longkorn. This came from the Deputy Prime Minister yesterday. The formal coronation ceremony to mark the monarch's ascension to the throne is due to be performed after he was crowned king back in December 2016. But the palace is yet to inform the government of plans for the coronation. Police in Pattaya have charged a Briton after he allegedly caused a woman to fall to her death from the fifth floor of a condo. Rhys Vella was arrested after the naked body of a 26-year-old Thai woman from Sakon Nakon was found at the Cozy Beach condominium. Vella was arrested at a bar in the same area under a court arrest warrant for allegedly being reckless and causing another person's death, overstaying his visa and theft. And the Phuket Land Office revealed yesterday that the land between the sea and Dusatani Laguna is Crown land, but the area where the tourist was asked to move away on Sunday is still covered in the resort's private property, according to the title. The hotel has also released a media statement over the issue. You can read that at the phuketgazette.net. Seems to have sparked a lot of comments already. Okay, that's the main news stories from today. Let's talk weather. And tomorrow they're predicting 100% chance of rain. Same on Thursday. Certainly yesterday we had a couple of big downpours in the localised areas around the island. Be interesting to see if that happens again today or tomorrow. So that's the weather. Thank you very much for joining us on Tiger Today. In the meantime, you can enjoy the brand new Central Festival. This is opening up later this year. We'll come back with more Tiger Today tomorrow.